The foundations of the department back in 1917 really were around preparing vocational agriculture teachers. We taught problem solving from day one. And then in the late 60s, we started agricultural communication. I think our department's doing a good job of trying to stay on pace with how fast communication is already developing in our world. Around 2012, we started into community leadership. And we went back to the roots of our discipline and the basic tenets and decided, what do we still believe in? And philosophically, what are we still committed to? And therefore, what are we going to use as the foundation from which we will rebuild what we believe will be the best curriculum. The evolution of us being agricultural education is really more about thinking broader than the production of food, but the whole process that it takes to get food from the farm to the plate. This department puts a lot of emphasis on students taking external experiences. So whether that's an internship or a job or a study abroad type of experiencing, expanding our horizons beyond just the classrooms here at Ohio State. We need to be broadly educated to know about the social, the political, the arts and history such that we can interact with, we can participate in the culture and the world in which we work. I actually was personally able, through my internship that I was doing, was able to travel uh, and take some students, actually high school students, to Ghana, West Africa. And in that experience there and seeing how food connects people, not only just in what they eat, but just connecting to your health care and to economics, just all of that and how it intertwines in so many parts of our, our lives. I became exposed to things that I had never seen, never understood, and I became uncomfortable. And as a result of that, I was challenged. The professors in our department have a true love for agricultural education. Working with my academic advisor solidified the pathway in the department and my future career. My professor here at the time, Dr. Kurt Paulson, uh, if it wasn't for him uh, encouraging me to put together a resume that he then circulated in Washington, D.C., I never would have had an internship there, uh, and which, which completely put me on the path to my career. This department has really helped me to kind of be in a position to do what I think it will help me to address the problems that I saw back home. You're not going to have better advisors than what this department has. They really care for you, and I think that they really help you not only get to your end goal, but they know the steps to take to be able to get there too. They want you to succeed, and they really drive you to succeed, and they won't stop until you do succeed. Once I made the decision that I wanted to be a 4-H educator, it was very clear for me to attend this university, this college, this department. Many universities will have an agricultural education component, but this whole community leadership and specific in leadership or extension component is new. The great thing about this department is there's so much freedom and so much flexibility. It really empowers you to create your own. The opportunities are endless because of the need we have to feed a hungry world, provide safe food for the consumers. You know, that mission is essential now as it's ever been, and the college is well positioned to provide that workforce to deliver that. The biggest thing I took away, biggest thing, life is about relationships. There's a whole world out there of, of connections that you make, and the folks that I went to school with, I continue to work with in a number of capacities. There is definitely a special bond of people who've come through this department. We talked about working on issues and working on projects together as students, and now we're working on things that we know have an impact in our state, uh, our communities, uh, and nationally. Uh, and that's, that's very rewarding for us and uh, something that's special that came out of this department. Cultivating Futures is about the people that were, are, and are going to be here. I really am where I'm supposed to be uh, in the ACL department. It gives you a strong foundation for just about any career that you want to go into. Well, I think this department uh, has a, a, a bright future. We're building leaders in this department. Ohio State is the college to go to if you want to major in ag education. I got eager to, to, to teach. 
I hope that I can do half as much as my teachers did for me. When I look at the next hundred years, that's what really excites me. They change your life while you're here for those four years. This department sets you up for greatness. I really feel touched by the opportunity to have been a part of what I consider a pretty special place.